So I'm going to close with a composite sketch of Jesus. I need you to listen. Like Adam, he was a son of God. Like Samuel, he was only a boy when he discovers his mission in the temple. Like Joseph, he was 30 years old when he came into prominence. Like Joshua, he crossed the Jordan to lead 12. Like Elijah, he provided drink for the thirsty. Like Moses, he entered the wilderness to wander for, for 40 days. Like Daniel, he overcame the temptation of appetite. Like Job, he refused the sin of presumption. Like Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, he refused to bow down before another god. Like the man of God, he healed the withered hand. Like Elijah, he raised the dead and multiplied the bread and helped lepers. Like Ezekiel, he preached to a stubborn and rebellious people and spoke against the abominations being done in the temple. Like Josiah, he exposed false worship. Like Enoch, he walked with God. Like Moses, he knew that his hour had come. He gathered the 12 to repeat the covenant and sang a song before going out to die alone. Like David, he crossed the brook Kidron as his enemies pursued him. Like David, he was betrayed by his close friend who eventually hung himself. Like Job, he enters into a time of trouble in the Garden of Gethsemane. Like Job, he was tempted to think that God had forsaken him. Like Joseph, he was sold for silver and deserted by his brothers. Like Joseph with the butler and the baker, he was placed between two men, one forgiven, the other rejected. Like Samson, he was beaten, bound, and mocked, placed between two pillars, bowed his head, and pushed. And when he died, there was a great rumbling, and he saved more in his death than when he was alive. Like Isaac, he was given up for a sacrifice. Like Noah, he was lifted up above the earth on wood so that all men would be drawn to him. Like Nehemiah, he would not come down, for he had a great work to do. Like Job, he prayed for his enemies. Like Samson, his death caused a great rumbling in the earth. Like Elisha's dead bones, his death brought to life many who slept in the grave. Like Jonah, he was in the belly of the earth three days and three nights. Like David, he delivered a deadly blow to the head of his enemy. Like Moses, he was willing to be blotted out of the book, but was resurrected from the dead. Like Samuel, he was called out of his sleep to serve as priest in the house of God. Like Jonah, he stayed for 40 days. Like Nehemiah, he finished the work. Like Elijah, he was raised into the heavens. Like Joseph, he was sent ahead to prepare a place for his brothers. Like Daniel, he interceded on behalf of his people. Like Jacob, while he is away, he is working for his bride. Like Joseph, he will investigate his brethren before allowing them to enter into the place he has prepared for them. Like Moses, he will descend from the mount upon an unexpected people. As Moses parted the sea, he will part the sky and lead his people out of bondage of the grave. Like Joshua, he will lead his people into the promised land. Like David, he will take his place as rightful king. Like Solomon, he will reign in peace but for a thousand years. Like Solomon, he will answer all of our hard questions. Like Gideon, he will put down the enemies of God at the end of the millennium. Like Jephthah, he will destroy those who cannot speak the heavenly language. Like Abraham, he will be the father of a great multitude. And like Joseph, he will be reunited with his loved ones. <laughs> Beloved, Jesus is the center of all scriptures. Yeah.